You've been already doing that. You're in that full fledged. And another opportunity comes out where it's a possibility. Just tell us about that, this whole new opportunity that you got and where you at mentally. Uh, well, shit, right now, uh, I just been, you feel me though, uh, uh, entertaining the idea of maybe going back to go and play, uh, play for Seattle for this, uh, for this playoff run. But I mean, you know, uh, you know, a few things gotta fall in order for, for some shit to happen. But you know, if it do, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's great. And I'm excited for the opportunity. And if it don't, then I mean, shit, I still got, uh, you know, all my business revenue, uh, I mean, my business uh, ventures that I got going on. So, I mean, you know, I'll be able to go and put some more time and thought into that. But, I mean, you know, with this just being a, a, a run for the playoffs or whatever, it'll be short lived then. I mean, you know, shit, at, 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 at my age, you know what I mean? That This is like, you know, a great opportunity. Come in, be able to help when needed. Get in, do my little thing, and then get out. And, you know, hopefully be able to help them go ahead and get the Super Bowl that, uh, uh, that they should be playing for. You know, what's funny is the fact that all these things seem like in the later part of your career, you like, oh, I did this for this, you know, open leaving it you know, doing everything. It seems like this is more about for yourself, your own personal thing, your own personal decision, not about just everybody else. Though they're included, because they're a part of you. But it seems like it's more about yourself. You got you, Adrian Peterson, and Frank Gore. And all y'all the same age range, and y'all all doing y'all thing right now. So it's like, the choice is for me up to well, you. Well, I mean, they doing that. You got you to gotta <laughs> remember, they in it right now, so they doing their thing. I right. Mean, and if I came back, then I would just be, you know, joining you know, the group of that that era of running backs that came in around the time that we did. But I mean, you know, just to touch on a little bit, like, I mean, you know, the things that I do though, I mean, it it, it all start with a, with a, with a thought, uh, maybe I can do it. And then instead of just, you know, waiting on, you know, a miracle or something to happen, I just put in the work in order to make it happen. So at the end of the day, regardless to however somebody, you know, perceive or however they think that it was meant. I know at the end of the day, what I like to do is I like to to help people, uh, you know, uh, you know, more than more than they probably than they probably think so. But at the end of the day, like, you know, doing something like that, not just for, you know, a Seattle fan or 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 an Oakland fan or anything like that, but you know, I'd have been to many places in the, you know, in, in, in around the world that I had people come up speaking to me in languages I can't, I don't know what the hell they saying. And at the end of the day, when it's translated is, you should have two Super Bowl rings. Mm. Does that feel like, does that make <laughs> you feel like, hey man, you know what, you're right. Should I, this is my opportunity to go for another one. I mean, it is, but I mean, you know, that the thing is, I think that just gives, you know, life to, football fans in general mm. because it wasn't just a thing that hurt Seattle Seahawks fan it's a thing that hurt football fans period and I mean I don't care what team you on they still I mean, talk what, about what team what <laughs> team you want for players too what team you on what team you rooting for it didn't matter I should I think it's probably some New England Patriots that feel the same way, but I mean, you well, know, some they, ain't, told you. They, they ain't gonna complain. I mean, shit, why yeah. would they? But at the same time, and it's more so, it, that's just, a, I just feel like that's a, uh, you know, this opportunity will be a, uh, will be a victory for football, period. Absolutely. Now, going into this, whatever happens, whether you come back or not, what is the new chapter of Beast Mode gonna bring? This new level of growth. Cause you're not 22 no more. You you know you're not no youngster no more. So it's like you didn't grow a lot. So what is level of beast mode are, is what the Seattle Seahawks be getting? You said what level of beast? The beast mode is it the same oh, one? I mean nigga, I'm the same nigga all day. You know what I mean? So as far as that, don't nothing change. You just I just you know I mean you know they got a situation a great situation going on up there right now. And I mean uh, you know I like the guy that they got running for him now. So you feel me? I don't I don't see me coming in there to be to be the, 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 
the the running back that they had uh, shit five years ago or something like that. But just you know to be able to come in, step in where it's needed. You know what I mean to be able to help. You know when a nigga called upon. You already the people's champ. You already you already a Hall of Fame running back. So for you, it just seems like, man, you want to be added value to this situation. Yeah, man, you got, and, and not just that though, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean, with all the changes and shit going on and, you know, getting away from the game and, you know, retiring, what it did was, it's like anything, you know, you step away for a minute and find out that, you know, that's really your passion or whatever. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's something that I always knew my whole life was, I really like to play football, so. I mean, you know, it really comes down to that as well. So, you know, while I still have this in me and I'm still able to do it, shit, we on ball time, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers dropping off left and right and shit, I, I don't, you know, not to be, you know, uh, uh, disrespectful, we just had one of the, uh, the little running backs from the, uh, the Raiders who, who passed away, mm. you know what I mean? And then, I mean, you know, you just hear about, you know, so many other athletes dying, and I mean, at, at young ages, you know what I mean? And then some of them go younger than me, so while I'm in this position right now, I'm gonna take every opportunity to go ahead and do what it is that I love. This just so happened to be one of them, man. It just so happened that I got the opportunity to go back and play for, uh, for Seattle right now, so shit, I'm gonna maximize my opportunity to the fullest. My final question is, you can go to any team as a free agent you want. Why Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> you said why? Yeah, we got history there. And we got unfinished business. There you got it. That's your exclusive. Nigga, you, that's how you. <laughs> Richmond niggas, bro, they ain't boosty hey, as fuck. Listen, this nigga, you, you got it. That's your exclusive. I wouldn't even do that. Look, I'm gonna tell you this another. This is uncut. This is uncut. Nigga, my nigga Quinton would have did the same thing, though, <laughs> man. I guess it. Shout out to Kevin, though. Hey, bro, this is your exclusive. We on Beastmo Productions, live and direct. You heard it here first. Cut. <laughs> Who is cold?